this lecture will implement our important function and that is important function and that is our sling function so sling function will just deal with the all of the function that should be done by this basically our sling so in the go to this main.py and after this distance just define a sling function here let me say it should be sling action and firstly we'll just give some of the bunch of these globals uh, that is it can be just changed from any way so that means first is global and second is after this we have rope length and next will be global angle so next will be global angle and next will be global let me say x mouse yes it will be x mouse and after that we'll have a global y mouse that is the distance for the y mouse or displacement if you just click on the mouse so firstly what we're gonna have is firstly we'll fix the bird to the sling rope so that would be our first task so in this sling you'll have this rope and when you just stretched or when you just don't stretch or initially so this bird should be maintained so our bird should be fixed in that position so as to fix we'll just create a vector first that is from here and vector should have first is sling x that is when the sling is static and similarly sling y this will have sling x sling y and similarly we'll say another that is x mouse and y mouse x mouse when the mouse is not pressed and y mouse so after that what we're gonna have is uv let me create another vector and it will be unit vector and we'll just pass this v so this is for the unit increment just we have created this unit vector out of this v vector and the next thing what we're gonna do is after this unit vector is just get this unit vector first element and store it in uv1 so just get that element and store in uv1 and similarly create a uv2 to just extract that first element of the unit vector or let me say second element because the index start from zero so after that we'll say mouse distance so this mouse distance is basically the displacement from the mouse so that would be just call this distance that is this function and the distance should be calculated from the four point so that would be first will be sling x that is static sling and sling y that is the direction that is when the sling is static and similarly x mouse and y mouse so this will be the distance and similarly we'll create new variable and what is gonna have is basically it will just have this uv1 that is a unit vector multiplied by let me say rope length first it should be rope length and plus sling x and similarly we'll have another that is so this pu is basically a vector here so uv2 that is second unit vector and let me just multiply it with rope length again and now just add it with sling of y so this pu is basically a displacement and uv1 here is a small uv2 basically so this is a small displacement here so after that what you're gonna have is bigger rope so let me just define a bigger rope here and let me give it length is 102 and after that x red bar red bar so this is basically dis displacement for the x red bar and that would be x mouse minus 20 and similarly for the y red bird let me say y red bird will be y mouse and that would be minus 20 so that would be the displacement basically when you just stretched there should be the negative displacement so that is for the x red bird and y red bird now we'll check a important condition here that will be if mouse distance that is the distance basically of this sling x and sling y and when that was static basically and now it is when you stressed so we'll say when that is greater than rope length 
then what you're gonna do is you just extract that first that is in pu and puy x and y that is pu will be extracted into this pu x and puy after that pu x will have this displacement that is negative of 20 and pu y will also have the displacement as negative of 20 so after that just again store back it to something that is pul variable that is the displacement that is pu x and pu y displacement and this is basically to decrease the displacement we just check this condition and now what you're gonna do is just will blit now to the screen that means screen dot blit and we'll just pass red here red bird and in this red word just pass pul here so we have just blit by checking this condition when the basically the mouse was static or when you say that sling was static now then another variable will be pu2 here so what this pu2 will do is basically you will say here instead of here that is rope length which was basically here when you say we have created the rope length as global and similar now what you'll do is we'll just extract that uv1 which was the unit vector and multiply with this bigger rope which was created as 100 to length so multiply it with that and just add now again sling x so what is happening here is basically that was um, when this case of this rope length was when you have no stretched so this was the rope length and we just maintained board in this position so that was basically when you see in this code this code was basically to bleed the board in this position so after when you stretched that is from this bigger rope now we'll again bleed that image in that position for now what we'll do is we'll just have this uh, stretchment with this bigger rope and we'll say you feed two again that is a unit vector and the stretch mean should be in the unit so that's why we have created this unit vector so bigger row plus sling and that would be the y displacement here and now what you're gonna do is we'll just create here or just a draw a line first so let's draw a line and it will take a surface first and color and it will take a start position in position and the width so that means first will be screen that is basically our surface and after that we'll just have color so color will be black here so just to give in a tuple and now what you have is start position and in position so we'll say start position will be sling 2 that is when that uh, is stressed basically when the catapult or a sling was stressed and similarly sling to y so this is the position that is start position and in position will be pu2 this will be the in position and just give now the width that would be 5 here now after that we'll just blit again that is from this screen rod blit and just blit this red bull in where should you blit is in the position that is pu2 here so that should be pu not Two, let me see it should be pul not two it should be pul again and after that what you're gonna do next is just draw the next line that would be pi game dot draw function and that line again and this just to give a surface the screen first and similarly here should be o comma o comma o and similarly have a sling here and that would be x and similarly sling y now and the next thing will be pu2 that is the in position and just give a width as 5 again so this is basically a line for this uh, rope so this will be the line for the rope so we have a small mistake here so this should this all the code should be inside this scope so let's just give the tab for these statements and let me say it should be here and similarly this should be at this position and again this should be also in the scope of the 
if and just give the last one will be also here so after that what you're gonna have to check is for the else part so I'll say else and now just give a condition that is the mouse distance just add it to that is will be 10 here and now what you're gonna do is just create another variable that will just displace our bird so I'll say uv1 multiplied by mouse distance plus and sling here so plus sling x obviously this is the x for x coordinate and similarly uv2 and it should be multiplied by again the mouse distance and just add it with sling y should be added with sling y here so we have pu3 for the displacement so again we'll just create a line so it should be pygame dot just draw the line again and it should have a surface that will be obviously screen and after that what you're gonna have is the color so color will be again black here and just give the start point here so uh, start point will be sling 2 so in this case it will be sling to x first and sling to y again and just to pass this the end point will be pu3 and just give the width as 5 so after that just split this into this screen so that would be like just bleed this red board where it should be so it should be x dot or x underscore red bird position and y underscore red bird position so next thing what you're gonna do is again you'll just create the line and that would be to just denote that we have this pu3 and that was basically this distance uh, which was the displacement when you just have dragged that mouse so say that should be you should draw again the line and the screen should be the surface and just give again the color in this tuple and just give the tuple again that is to show the start point should be sling x that is when it is static and sling y and this is the position basically for the static sling and i'll say that is should be pu3 here and just give the width as 5 so we have created our sling function then this basically just acts as a function or property to modify the movement or the basically to change the position of sling or catapult so after that what you're gonna do next is we'll just define another function here and that would be uh, so, uh let me just define as in first uh, instead of just defining another function i'll just say if the angle of impulse so inside this sling and sling action function will just change this angle of impulse so that would be done like dy so just create a dy variable and that would be y mouse first that displacement for mouse in y and sling and that should be sling y here and this is the displacement in the y and similarly we have the displacement in x that is x mouse when you just drag that position basically when you just click here from the mouse in that position from basically this will be the catapult and when you just drag that so that position and that position will be y and that position will be x so we'll just see that position in this x should be also subtracted is sling x now we'll check for condition that is if dx that is displacement in x is zero so that means you have to have something that is dx equal to zero point same as of unit vector you will just put 14 zero here and one and one again so we'll just create an angle now so this angle should be outside this dx and we'll say angle so this is basically the formula for the impulse angle so we'll just say math so from the math module we'll just import a tan that is the basically for the inverse of tan and it will just take our float so that means it will just take our dy first 
this is the formula that will be simply dy by dx so that is tan inverse dy by dx so that is the basically formula so we'll say this should be dy divided by dx so basically what is our impulse formula is angle that is theta let me say theta is equal to tan inverse dy by dx so this is basically our formula so we have implemented here that is angle equal to tan inverse flow dy by dx so we have successfully completed our sling action behavior and now we'll have to make more functions and we have to make our main loop in the next lecture so see you there